Virgo sisters and brothers, welcome to Spiritual Findings. I am your gypsy, Vera Lynn, and today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for my lovely Virgos, for your love life. Let's see what's going on. Now, I'm not dating this video. You know, everything happens for a reason, so if you're tuning into this video, there's got to be something here that's going to click with you. I have different oracle cards here and tarot decks, so I'm just going to pull from the original Rider Waite and we're going to move on from there, okay? All right, so welcome. Anybody who is new, comment below where you're from. Um, you know, if you don't know your moon sign, put in your birthday below, and I will definitely find out your moon sign for you guys, because that's also interesting. It's a personal twist, right? All right, don't forget to check, check out our Facebook, too. I do live streams, guys, and uh, a lot of them are on Facebook. <laughs> so I offer free readings on there, and if you want a reading via live stream, it's always fun and exciting. Go ahead and like that Facebook. You can find it in the description box. Already we have the star card and the three of wands pop up. So it's telling me that a lot of my Virgos are kind of coming to your own. Now with your love life, you need balance. Balance between your emotions. There might be something going on that's really distracting you from your love life or kind of making you focus on the negatives of it or lack thereof. You know, sometimes when we can seem desperate and uh, really focus on how we're so lonely and things like that, it could just make dating kind of a mess. All right, guys, so I am have not shuffled these cards in reverse. Um, I don't think that flap... flap flapped out, flopped out all weird, um, but you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so that kind of is telling me maybe we're backtracking on the finances a little bit. Maybe they could be like splurging around the holidays or something like that, but you're really not sticking to your end goals when it comes to your finances. Maybe your job, your career, moving forward with that. Now, with this really going into love life, now I do see maybe kind of moving back, um, breaking up from a relationship kind of maybe moving back into where you were met moving back in with your parents your old roommate um, something along that lines maybe taking steps back when it comes to you know progressions that you're making in your life um, you know financial details that really do dictate your relationships now, for our love lives, I see a lot of different choices that's going on. Now, what's going on, Virgo, that we have so many choices to pick from here? We have the Seven of Cups, okay? And the Seven of Cups just shows up when there's just too many choices, okay? As you can see, there's just too many choices going on. Not really sure which one to pick from. And, you know, that can be a problem, because when you do have so many options, and not that all these options are bad, because if you look at some of these, some of these are obviously bad. We, we shouldn't pick some of these cups here. I'm sorry, it's not really focusing in. There you go. Now, some of these cups here, <laughs> they're not the greatest choices. And, you know, we know that, so we're not going to take that route. But there's a lot of good ones here. And the fact that there's a lot of good choices for us to take um, kind of veer us to where we don't really want to make a decision because we might make the wrong decision. You know, it's not like there's just one. Okay. I'm a Virgo too. <laughs> and I know if there's a lot of good decisions to make, it's really hard for us to make one because it's, we're just so critical. Okay. Of what, what it is that you're going to make. Okay. What it is, <laughs> the choices. Okay. We just put too much into it. And sometimes that could just cause us to not make any decisions at all and just kind of like get stuck, you know, a little bit of a stalemate, as we might say. All right, so maybe make a list. I know y'all got your lists, your to-do lists and things like that, and that's how Virgos organize things. It's cool. Maybe you got to make this about the situation. And literally, like, it could be a, you know, pros and cons of, you know, maybe you're dating right now, have different options, not really knowing which one you want to kind of, like, settle down with. Um, make a list. Obviously, don't let your uh, <laughs> potential dates see the list don't make it don't publish it to facebook but make a list pros and cons come on it might not be about dating it could be about that career it could be about where to move it could be about when to get married it could be about when to have babies come on guys there's a lot of choices um you know when it comes to those major decisions in life it's there's so many different routes that you could just pave your wonderful journey here and which one are we gonna do i don't know all right they're just flopping out man Okay, so we're moving forward, my lovely Virgos. When it comes to 
emotions in our relationship. We started off with the star card, which, you know, we're balancing emotions, we're kind of seeking attention in different ways. Um, you know, it might be people trying to woo us, or it might be us kind of finding our own self-confidence. You know, a lot of my Virgos ruled by Mercury. You guys are supposed to be out there. You're, you're supposed to be on your soapbox writing articles, you know, poems, or, you know, whatever it might be. You're supposed to get out there. So maybe you're kind of having a turn in your career, too, as well. That kind of backtracked a little bit, but um, I kind of felt more images, more, more, more messages regarding the star card. So maybe that clicked with some of you guys. But now... The Knight of Cups pulled out, which is telling you we're kind of moving steady along when it comes to relationships and our emotions, okay? Now, this does come about later in the reading, so it's just telling me that you need to... Get your ducks in a row. Yeah, that was a silence there for a while, but I... I, I totally skipped over the Three of Wands here in the reading, which, you know... That's a sign. That's like probably the first time that I've ever done that, Virgos. I didn't really say anything about the Three of Wands, and I just kept moving forward. So to me, I always, you know, when things happen like that, I always say, hey, that's a sign. We got to use that. What would be the meaning behind that? What would be the metaphor of this? This is telling me that I totally skipped over this, that you guys aren't taking the time to like watch the sunsets, to watch the boats sell in, to really enjoy your assets coming in, your promotions, you know, enjoying the holidays. Some of you guys are watching this around the holidays. You know, you work so hard to make the pies, to get the presents, to do this, to rearrange that, to have a family dinner here, blah, 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 blah. But you're not actually enjoying it. You're not taking the time to sit there and enjoy it. Okay, take some rest. Appreciate what you've done, Virgo, because when we stop being so critical about ourselves and start appreciating it, be like, wow, it, it might not be perfect and I'm still critical and I still want to work on this and this, but I'm getting stuff done and this looks great, you know? Whether it's cleaning up your relationship, your marriage, your house, your home, I feel like all of that kind of does affect our love life, you know, the finances, the, is the house cluttered and causing anxiety and intention in you and it, just sit back, relax, okay? Try to focus on that. Because I feel like, you know, that's kind of where the curveball comes in, too, with the Ace of Pentacles there, is that if you do skip over that, it's going to be going to throw you for that. So if we do take the time to watch that sunset, celebrate ourselves, we'll be able to flip that night upside down, okay, and keep things on the right track here. All right, I'm feeling one more from the original Rider weight. Like I said, I'm going to pull from the, I'm definitely going to pull from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. Oh, I just noticed my mic was kind of weird. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know how the audio is. Comment below. All right. All right. So, yeah, if you guys are still watching, comment below. Let me know what's going on. All right, so there needs to be balance within ourselves, within our neighborhoods, our houses, um, our relationships, there needs to be give and take. Um, I highly recommend perhaps maybe getting into some charity work, okay? Because when we do things, even just simple things, um, that's just in good, good karma, you know, good nature, the spirit of whatever it might be. You know, it does come back to us. What we put out there does come back to us. So the fact that this is our last card is, you know, when we get through the work of doing ourselves, making make sure that we're still doing something in life that makes us feel good, okay? My Virgos, you guys are givers. You guys are of the sixth house of service. So I know you guys love to give, all right? Don't give too much because there's a lot of work that's coming before we're, you know, getting back into, okay, now I'm giving and now I'm feeling good about myself and things like that. We're moving on, right? All right, so for our love life, my lovely Virgos. I missed my Virgos. With my spirit family, comment below, guys, what's going on in your life? My spirit family, you guys usually watch these videos pretty early, so uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas, because I am filming this around Christmas, guys. Oh, wow. Okay, so listening, Virgo. We need to sit back and we need to listen. And I think that might be a little bit, for those who are married, um, shout out to my Virgos who are married and have a working relationship and things like that. Look, 
you guys can be a little bit OCD, a little bit picky about the details and things like that. I kind of want you to sit back and just listen to what your partner might have to say on how to arrange, arrange the house, things like that. Work together, okay? I know maybe for a while there you've been, you know, the main one in charge of organizing or certain details, bills, whatever it might be, Virgo, but just kind of kind of reach out for help and just listen. Listen to how people think that they can contribute, okay? Because you can't just have it all on your shoulders, right? All right, so for those, my lovely Virgos, who are single and looking, I feel like this is listening within ourselves, okay? As you can see, she's kind of sitting back, pondering, looking at the birds in nature, which I feel like that's also big because my Virgos, y'all, are the earth signs. Like I said, put below your um, your full birthday and I can find out your moon sign because I'm earth on earth. So I love like hanging out in the mountains, things like that, going for a hike. So you guys need to get some earthing and maybe go outside meditate outside go for a walk outside just kind of get lost in your own thoughts and um listen listen to what the messages that are coming to you now this could also mean maybe you need to listen more um to the things around you to what's going on at work to what's going on to the potential people that you might date um signs body language things like that listening listening isn't only with the ears too guys okay all right, maybe some of y'all, I love the saying, listen to hear instead of reply, okay? All right, my Virgo, so it's all looking good, you know, for your love life, a little bit of balance of the emotions, make sure that you're sitting back and you're having some positive affirmations about yourself, realizing that you are kind of getting through things, have a steady pace when it comes to finances, start to kind of rearrange the house, get things looking spicy again, because, you know, depending on when y'all are watching this, you know, seasons kind of come and change. If it's for winter, make sure you got your house up and gearing for winter time. You know, if it's more towards summertime, get things ready to go out to have fun. All right. Make sure that your house is the way that you want it. Because when my Virgos have an organized home, they tend to have a or more organized mind. Don't let the choices that are coming up in front of you stall you from making any choices. Make a list. Pros and cons. Maybe... Go out and reach to a friend, maybe a fellow Virgo. You got a Taurus, they're always good. A Libra, you know, talk to them. Hey, I got, I got a whole bunch of things and I'm not sure which to make the decision. Kind of getting that outside view on things is great. Okay, with the Knight of Cups, moving forward with the emotions. I see a lot of shadow work moving forward. Um, positive affirmations I really feel like is coming into play because y'all are just so darn critical of yourself and you need to stop. Once we get a lot of this, I feel like self-help, self-love, working within the relationship and home done, I want you to start giving back the way that you guys used to, okay? That made you happy, whether it's small volunteering, charity work, things like that, get into it, okay guys? And get into nature, listen. Listen to nature, listen to yourself, listen to those around you, okay Virgo? All right, guys, so I do a lot of recorded readings for my Zodiac signs for love, relationship, career, soul story, all that good stuff. Join me for live streams. If you would like to join me for a live stream, be sure to hit the notification bell on YouTube as well as jump over to Facebook and like the Facebook page because I do a lot of live streams. First come, first serve there, guys, so it's more important to just jump on a live stream as soon as you see me get going so we can guarantee you a free reading because I do those a lot, guys. I love hearing where you're from, hearing a little bit about you, you know, pulling a couple cards, you know, I just enjoy it. I really have a hoot. If you guys would like to book me for a private session, go ahead and email me. Reach out, all right? I'm here. I will contact you as quick as I can and we'll get you a session and get you the healing that you need. All right, guys, with love and light, blessed be.